Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look who we've got today. Look who's back in action. Um, so this practice is a 30 minute, it's going to be like a stretchy vinyasa. Now you kind of can modify, I'm going to be modifying a lot of this practice because I want to make it part of the Wake Up Well series. Though it's a vinyasa, it's a gentle, relaxed vinyasa, just kind of working us into the day. But by all means, if you want to give it something a little bit more dynamic, feel free to do any variations and embellishments that you wish. So we're going to get started just in a simple seated position. You can pop yourself up on a block, um, take cross legs, place the hands down on the knees, just roll the shoulders back and close the eyes. And maybe take another one of those shoulder rolls. And let's just take a few moments, as always, to arrive in our practice. What is it that you will be exploring today within yourself, your mind, your body, your breath? So just checking in, asking yourself, how do I feel today? See if you can sit a little bit taller growing the spine up and out through the crown of the head. And drop the chin down to the chest. Allow the breath to fill up through the back of the neck. And then roll that head around to the right side, hover here for a couple of breaths. So just opening through the left side of the neck. And then coming back down through center, take it around to the left side, opening through the right side of the neck. Bring it back down through center. Head comes back through neutral. Take the head the whole way back, open through the throat. And coming all the way back to neutral. You can keep the eyes closed or you can flutter open the eyes. Taking the right hand down to the mat, sweep the left arm all the way up and over. Getting this big, beautiful stretch through the side body. See if you can think about pivoting the chest up towards the sky. And then bringing that left hand down, sweep the right arm all the way up. Going to the other side again, think about pivoting the chest up towards the sky. And as you take these big, beautiful, deep breaths here, just feeling all the side body cracking open. And coming back through center, switch the cross in the legs. And then just start to walk the hands forwards. So come into a little cross leg forward fold. Allow the head just to release. And maybe you want to sway a little bit side to side here. Yeah, slowly making your way up. Place the fingertips behind you, lift through the chest. Heart lifts up to the sky. Let's maybe even find a smile. And come back through center. Come around onto all fours. And just place the knees slightly further back than an all fours position. We're going to work on these big rotations. So coming through, 
You kind of still work this cat cow position here because as you come forward, you lift through the chest, but you can work around in circles. You can wave it forwards and backwards. So still thinking about the inhale as you come forwards and the exhale as you come back, but no right or wrong with the position. Just keep it nice and fluid. You can drop the hips when you get to the front. Again, just checking in with the body, waking the spine up. A few more times here. And then grounding down through the hands, tuck under the toes, make your way into your first downward facing dog of the practice. And just pedaling out through the feet. Taking a nice step to each side. Lifting up fully through each foot as you maybe step. So just checking in with the feet today, the backs of the legs. And then start to wiggle the hips. Soften through the shoulders as you start to find some fluidity in the shoulders as well. And then start to walk the feet in all the way to the hands and then take the feet wide, drop it down for Malasana, our yogic squat. Hands come to heart center, neutralize through the spine, crown of the head lifts tall. Left hand comes down to the floor, right arm reaches up, gaze high. And you can still find movement here. I love in Malasana, just softly moving side to side. It really gets into the hips a little deeper and then this opening through the heart space and the arm as well. Slowly release right hand down, place the right fingertips down, left arm sweeps up. Again, gaze high. And then slowly release. Place the fingertips down, start to lift the bottom, heel toe the feet to about hip width apart. Hang down in a forward fold. Allow the head to hang heavy. Option to take hold of opposite elbows and then just gently sway again. Shift the weight towards the front of the feet. A few more breaths here, just hanging down. How are the backs of the legs feeling today? Release the hands on an inhale, lift the chest, come to the fingertips. Exhale, draw in the core, bring the hands to the hips. And then engage glutes, lift all the way up to the sky. Heel toe the feet together, let's just stand in our Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Take a stretch over to the left, opening through the right side body. As you inhale, lengthen through the torso. And then as you exhale, see if you can move a little deeper into that side bend. And coming back through center, take hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Inhale for length, exhale, move a little deeper. Breathing here. And coming all the way back through center, release those hands down by the side. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze high. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, take those arms up. Keep it soft and fluid. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, create space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, arms reach high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, create space. This time, exhale, place the hands, step it back to plank, and then lower the knees down and lower all the way down to the mat. Take the, uh, these are hands, <laughs> underneath the shoulders, release the feet slightly. You're gonna undulate here, inhale, lift the chest, lift the head. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Release the hands. Place them down underneath the shoulders. Tuck under the toes. You can either come back to a child's pose if you're modifying or take it back to a downward facing dog. Wherever you'd like to be today. And just finding some stillness now in whichever position you've gone for. Take a nice big releasing breath, inhale. And release, exhale. On your next inhale, start to walk the feet towards the hands. Lift the chest, create space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center, beautiful. Inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, create space. Exhale, place the hands, step it all the way back to your plank and work your way down to your belly however you wish. So all the way down on your belly, take the right arm out into cactus and then roll over onto that right side, side of the head goes down. You can either keep the legs stacked or you can place that left foot up and behind, just allowing the body to open. Breathing here. One more breath here. And then roll it over back onto the tummy. Switch sides, left arm comes out for cactus. Roll over onto the left side. And then take that right foot down. You can close the eyes and just breathe here. And then releasing back down onto the belly. Place both hands down underneath the shoulders. Again, tuck under the toes, coming to a downward facing dog, or just take it back to a child's pose. <sighs> Breathing here. One more breath. On your next inhale, step or float the feet to the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, the hands through heart center. Release the hands down by the side. We're gonna take a Surya Namaskar. B, we have a big, big fly slash wasp. So you might see Simba trying to run around and catch it, I apologize. Bend the knees, hinge the hips, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, place the hands, step or float back if you wish, lowering down, modified or chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or a cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, step the right foot between the hands. I'm gonna take it down to a low lunge. You're more than welcome to take it to a high lunge if you wish. Reach the arms all the way up. Now taking the right hand down by the side of you, you can place it onto a block or if you can reach the floor, then do. We're gonna take a stretch over to the side. If you can't reach and you don't have a block, or if you're in a high lunge, take the right hand to the hip and then take the stretch over to the side. So again, opening through that left side body. And bringing it all the way back to center, both arms reach up. Now left arm goes forwards, right arm goes back. You're gonna take the uh, left hand onto the right knee, find a twist. You can take this right hand to the sacrum. And you can still do this if you're in the high lunge, if you're taking a slightly different variation. And then wherever you're at, taking a revolve reverse warrior, reach that left arm all the way up, right hand floats down to the back leg. You can gaze high and open through the chest here, or you can look down to the foot behind you. Slowly start to pivot your way all the way back. Ground down through the left hand. Reach the right arm up, easy twist. Option to keep the back knee down or lift that back knee up for a fuller variation. Release right hand down, step it all the way back. Take it straight back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot drops between the hands. Lower that back knee down or stay in a high lunge if you wish. Reach the arms up. Allow the hips to travel forwards. Moving into that side stretch, either hand to hip, hand to block or fingertips to the floor. Reach it over. Stay connected to the breath. And then coming all the way back up, reach both hands high. Right arm goes forwards, left arm goes back. Right hand to left knee, left hand to sacrum, find a little twist here. Inhale, finding the length and then exhale, moving a little bit deeper into the twist. And then coming into a revolved reverse warrior, wherever you're at, reaching that right arm up. You can either gaze behind you, or you can keep that lift through the chest as you gaze high. And then slowly bring it back around, ground down through the right hand, left arm reaches up, easy twist. And you can lift that back knee if it feels good too. And then releasing left hand down. Of course, the option to take a vinyasa here or just stepping it back to the downward facing dog. <sighs> Breathing here. Stepping those feet all the way up towards the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Oh, Utkatasana, I forgot. <laughs> and then we'll exhale, take it straight back down. Inhale, create that space again. Exhale, place the hands, step it back to the plank and lowering all the way down through a little vinyasa, modifying as you go. Remember, this is just all about waking up. We do not need to be pushing it super hard. Make your way back to the downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Drop the back knee down again for low lunge. Ideally, everyone coming to the low lunge this time, interlace hands on the knee, lift the chest. <sighs> And then shift the bottom back. Find Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. 
You want to have those hips square, so drawing this right hip back in towards the body. And then shifting your way forwards, ground down through the hands, step it straight back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, step that left foot through between the hands, lower back knee down, lift the chest, interlace hands on the left knee, crown of the head reaching up. And then shifting those hips back, finding Ardha Hanumanasana, our half split, drawing that left foot up, so the left foot's flexed, and then the left hip coming in towards the body, squaring those hips. And inhale, shift forwards, ground down through the hands, option to vinyasa, or just to step it straight back to either a downward facing dog, or a child's pose. You get to decide. And then starting to walk those feet into the center line. Hands come to meet. And we're just gonna peel our way up to standing. We're gonna take one little standing balance. So we've opened out through the hips, we've done a little bit of shoulder work. This doesn't need to be a super big variation of this. Okay, so you're gonna bring the right uh, ankle towards the bum. And to begin with, we're just gonna stand in this hip flexor and quadriceps stretch. So right foot is being held. Like I said, this doesn't need to be a super big variation when we go into dancer. It's just to have a little bit of fun with some balance. Release the left hand, reach the left arm out in front of you. Start to lift up that right leg. And then maybe you start to tilt the chest forwards, finding your dancer, wherever it may be. Inhaling here. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for three. Exhale and release. Come to standing. Have a little shake out. Shimmy through the hips. Okay, ground down through the right foot. Bending in the left foot, just holding that foot, drawing the foot towards the bottom, just working into that stretch to begin with. And then releasing the right hand, reach the right arm out long. Start to lift up that left leg. And then when you take that left leg as far as it can go, maybe you start to tilt the chest forwards, but still keeping this lift all the way through the torso. Inhaling here for one. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for three. And exhale, release. Again, have a little shimmy shake out. We're gonna make our way down to the mat. You can either vinyasa your way down there or you can just do what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna sit my bottom down onto my mat. Okay, take the left leg long. Right knee is bent in. Right arm comes around, Marichasana C. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, take that left elbow either over the knee or hug the knee and find the twist here. A lot of the time we're so desperate to get that elbow over that then the shoulders do this kind of like collapsed position. So try to refrain from wanting the ego to add the elbow and actually maybe find a deeper position but just through hugging the knee. Gazing behind you, keeping that left leg switched on. Yeah. 
and slowly release, come back to center, take a little baby counter twist if you wish, and then allow that right knee to drop out to the side. Inhale, find some length here. Exhale, Janu Shishasana, over the left leg. Inhale, find some length, and then exhale, move a little deeper into the fold. Spine is nice and long. On an inhale, lifting all the way up. Open that leg out to the side a little bit so the right knees come out, the hips are open. You're gonna take the right hand down behind you and we're gonna pulsate here. So as you inhale, push the hips forwards, lift the chest. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring it back around. And then just bring the knees together. Option if you're taking something slightly stronger to vinyasa here. Just take a breath in a navasana and vinyasa if you wish. If you're going to stay with the modified variation like me, you're just going to hover and give yourself a really big, wonderful hug. And if you can't hover the feet off, you don't have to, you can place them down. But just give yourself this big hug. And notice how that feels. Like really give the hug. Don't see this as, okay, I'm just wrapping my arms around my legs. See this as I'm giving myself a cuddle. And just notice how that feels for you. And if you've taken a vinyasa, just come to join us in this position. Release the feet down, take the right leg long, left knee bent up for left side, Marichasana C, left hand goes behind, inhale, sweep the right arm all the way up, exhale, take the twist. Again, just be mindful of the shoulders. Inhaling, finding length, and exhaling, seeing if you can move a little deeper. slowly unraveling take a little counter twist if you need to and then you're going to drop the left knee down Janu Shishasana inhale find length exhale fold over that right leg lengthen take a little undulation here as you inhale find a bit more length and then exhale finding a little more depth One more breath here. And inhaling, coming all the way up. Now we're gonna open that hip out again. Left hand comes down behind us. We're gonna take those pulsations. So inhale, sweep up, lift the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, slowly release. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Beautiful, bring your legs all the way around. If you would like to take a little vinyasa, please do if that's where you're at, and then meet us laying down on the mat. If you're not taking the vinyasa, you're just gonna reach the arms out long, feet are hip width apart, and you're gonna slowly make your way down onto your back. Slowly, slowly. Engaging the core as you go, keeping it all switched on. 
and then release. We're going to take a little restorative bridge to finish with. So grab your block if you have it. If you haven't got a block, then grab like a cushion or a bolster, or you can just do an active variation. Take an inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. And then palms facing upwards, close the eyes. Try not to let the knees just flare out to the side. You still want to keep those legs parallel. Just a couple more breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly releasing that block from underneath you and letting the lower spine and the back go down. Window wipe the knees side to side. And then hug those knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side here as well, just massaging through the lower spine. And then starting to rock yourself forwards and backwards, bringing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Keep the eyes closed, palms face down on the knees, taking a big shoulder roll going back. Notice all parts of the body connecting to the mat, feeling that energy rising through the spine, growing you taller up and out through the crown of the head. And as we just have our final few moments in this practice, I invite you to come to a place of gratitude, thinking of three things that you have to be grateful for, either in your life right now or three things that have happened today. And I know a lot of people are doing this flow early in the morning. That doesn't mean you can't have three things to already be grateful for today. Look for beauty and gratitude in even the smallest of things. You may be thinking of those gratitude points, draws a smile to your face and allow that smile to be there. Allow that smile to be present in your whole body. Bring one hand on top of the other at the heart center and we'll seal our practice with one releasing breath. Inhale. Thank you. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you have done all five of these flows every day as part of the Wake Up Well series, then thank you so much. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Know that these practices are obviously gonna stay on YouTube for you to come back to time and time again. Also, this challenge has been to really promote my Soul Sanctuary membership. Um, it's the membership that enables me to keep producing, hey buddy, keep producing free practices for you on this platform. So if you are in a position to sign up, if you want to do more yoga with me, then please do sign up and it just allows me to keep giving back to the community for free as well. So thank you and I look forward to seeing you on the mat again very soon. Bye-bye. Simmy, you gonna say bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> bye. <laughs>